Hello everybody, I'm Bratman19, we're playing some more Supreme Ruler 2020, the 4th Reich. And, uh, looking around here, I've conquered a lot, especially now here in Western Europe. Uh, Portugal and the UK and Ireland are really the only things left. Belgium's just a kind of thorn in my side right now. Uh, Switzerland is also, and then there's Italy, which really, once I take out, you know, that little group there, I can just keep focusing east. And then I'll really be ready to go either southeast or I can go straight east and take on Russia. Which, even though we're already at war with, it's just something to look at. So, there's a couple things I've been, I was looking at in between episodes. And down here, I have 27 guys needing to repair, which that'll go by pretty quickly. Um, also, have quite a few units that are being built. You know, or research, I should say. 15 spaces right now going at it. Um... Not too worried about keeping it up right now. Looking around, there's just nothing but you know, nothing really for me to start looking to worry about, re you know, researching again. Um, the only thing I really am going to focus on now is I need to go ahead and get all my economy facilities like just fixed up. Really, uh, agriculture we're doing great on. Freshwater we're doing fine on. Timber fine on. Petroleum we are running a deficit actually. So. Guess what? We're going to find these facilities and we're going to build up again. I have taken over a lot of land, so we need to look for wherever they're at. There, there. Let's see. Alright. See, even France has some good spots in it to build on. Uh, not too many, but enough. Alright. There's a few over there. There's some offshore stuff that I'm not really interested in. Oh look, Netherlands had a space. Okay, uh, we've taken all the Netherlands spots. Is there any in Norway and Sweden? I do not think so. Is there any in Poland? Oh, there's a few. Yeah, let's work on these. All right. I think I'm doing better than, well, let me take that back. I'm not doing better than uh, Hans Gruber's idol here, who uh, happened to run the last Reich. Not doing any better, because he had uh, all of this area underneath his control and much of Russia, but we're still doing pretty good. Uh, ooh, I should maybe look at doing something here in Africa if possible. That'll be for a later time anyway. Let's see. Coal, we're doing fine. Metal, we're doing fine. Uranium, we are running a little short on. We should build at least 10, but I want to go for 15 or 20 facilities if I can. Lots of places to put it, and France has got plenty of that. There's four, another four, uh, 12. There you go, 16. Ooh, and we'll finish up up here. There you go. Plenty of spots. If I need to, I can come up here to Sweden and do it. They got some good spots to do it. Let's see. All right. Electric power is doing okay. I, I need to maybe look at fixing it up. Consumer goods. Uh, it's doing fine, but I'm pretty sure there's quite a few medium facilities. Let's go ahead and check that out, actually. Micro, none. Four medium. Okay. Not as many as I thought there would be. And I'm going to put two facilities here. One here, because it can't be hit. And we'll put another one down here. Just reasons for being for these little areas. Alright. Industrial, I mean, is there micro anywhere? Middle there is six. We'll take those guys out. And we'll build four more. We're going to put one there. And we'll put another one. Eh, we'll do it right here. Okay. They want military goods. They can have mine. I'm not using them yet. There are 15 medium military goods facilities. We're going to scrap them all. We need to build at least three. We'll build four because that'll bring us to an even 25. 
Let's see, what's up here? Do I own any? Yes, I do. There's a good spot. Uh, yeah, why not? Put it long year. <laughs> There's another one. We need. To... We could make this mean more. Let's put one there. And put another one over here. Okay. Just kind of spreading out, you know, if, the, if Russia decides to invade Poland or they can actually get a good foothold and go after Norway, they won't be destroying my available output. So that's that's the good thing. Somalia, they are offering money in exchange for coal, and that's a good thing. I'll let them do that. All right. And we're going to pay off a few of our loans. We can do that. And look at that. We are... Our debt is really far down. We're now at 715 billion. I have 105 billion in the bank right now, and that's only five loans worth. We're making so much money a day. Like, I could do a lot more here. What's going on with this? Yep, we're doing well here. Our people are probably really happy with us. Yep, 37%. That's a good sweet spot. We can never lose an election at that level. Now we need to make a determination here. If I go to the UK, who all gets pissed? Japan, Greece, Estonia, and Bulgaria. What about Belgium? Quite a few people get mad if I go after Belgium. But if I go after Luxembourg, they're small. It pisses off Belgium some more and Lithuania, which puts us with another border with Russia. Don't want to do that. Switzerland doesn't piss off anybody, except for Switzerland and probably Italy. Yeah, that actually might be a good thing. Hopefully, nobody else wants to really go to war with me. Bulgaria and Slovenia. Well, there's Hungary. There's Romania and Bulgaria. Where's Slovenia? It's this little guy, right? Yeah, so that gets him mad. And I can start working southeast. Huh, a lot of good little choices in here. I definitely don't want to, like, declare war on the UK. I could. I have a Cassus Belly of about 40% with them, but that's just not a smart move. Uh, I don't want to do anything that's going to put me in direct contact with Russia if I can help it. For obvious reasons. And if the Ukraine were to, like, get all the way around here and take that little corridor as well, I really wouldn't mind it either. Let's see. What? A well, Finland's going to give me a direct border, aren't they? Yep. I knew that. I know my geography. Let's see here. Alright, I think... Yeah, we're going to go ahead and we're going to declare on... Let's go ahead and declare on Portugal. That'll get Belgium pissed, Slovenia pissed, and Bulgaria. Maybe Switzerland will want to join and try to close up a gap. Maybe, you know, maybe I can get Belgium right off the bat. Let's see, do we have any guys who are still hurt? Yes, we do. Just a few, though. They're probably all the way up north. They're going to continue to be that way. Let me see, how many offensive units do I have? We're going to go ahead and clear some stock, just like I did a few episodes ago as well. I have quite a bit in there. Quite a few transports, though. That's good news. Come on. I have 42 units that weren't going to do me too much good. So we'll scrap all them. And we have about 220 units, give or take. Yeah. All right. Ready to go, guys. We are going after Portugal. Say goodbye. Where is that declaration of war? There it is. Go. All right. I'm going to send all of you guys up to the northern part. There's a regular hydro. Is that a small? Yeah. Later on, we'll come through and eliminate all the small hydro facilities and start building big ones. But that's not really necessary right now. There we go. Take Beha. So who do we think is going to declare on me first? They're friends with Slovenia and uh, Bulgaria. So probably Bulgaria. They're really mad at me. Slovenia is probably really mad. Belgium's really mad. Switzerland, somewhat mad. We actually have a good cast of spelly against them. Italy's somewhat mad. The UK's probably 
furious. Let's see. Can't find a spot where they don't have anything. Alright, let's back out. Oh, they're only halfway mad. That's not too bad. Luxembourg is pissed. Okay. Look at that. We've already taken the majority of their land. Go ahead and build up. Just There you go. Keep going, guys. Don't even give them a chance. Build up supply. Oh, if we catch or the capture these few areas, we'll get supply running pretty well. I'm going to go ahead and send one unit to kind of take the little lower spots of Portugal. Okay, let's see. Do you have a friend over here? Not a good one, but a friend nonetheless. There you go. Come on over here, you. I'm just letting the AI do its work against these guys. They'll go after the capital on their own. Okay, push on. We take Portimao. And then if we... Oh, we've already got their land fab. Ha! <laughs> that sucks for you. Alright, all of you. Come right down here. Take on every little facility along the way. Come on, keep hitting it. Maybe we can knock it out of the way, too. Uh-oh, who called war? Bulgaria, I called it. I wish Slovenia would do it. Because then that's just a quick little... Well, it's not quick. They're going to push out really quickly, but... Their supply will be really bad. In the meantime, if we can end this war, that would be amazing. We took their capital. Yep, there's their capital, Lisbon's mine. Let's see, what else? They moved their capital again, they did. To Oireas, that which is where I was shooting for to begin with. Up, oh, who goes? There's Belgium. That's who I wanted. We need reinforcements. Now then, that's gonna be a pretty good little battle. Okay, let's let that go for now. Should be men pushing into that town. Or no, there's Almada has quite a few garrisons, so we'll have a little bit of a hard time. Okay, come on guys. Do your worst. How's this going? Oh, we're just kind of containing them. Which is what I want to do. Bulgaria will probably just... If Bulgaria has friendships with like Romania or somebody, let's see. Who is that? Oh, Lithuania. Ooh, that's not good. Uh, we'll go ahead and pause the game. Let's take a look at this. They are friends with... Are they friends with Romania? They are not, so they have to go... Who is this? Bosnia? Are they friends with Bosnia? No, they're not. So they can't get to me. Portugal's gone, and that means we got all these nice little islands over here as well. I don't think they own land anywhere else. Not like France. Okay, you guys are... You're doing just fine. We'll let you guys respond how you want to. In the meantime, we'll kinda wanna cut off. If I can cut off this little southern piece, then the rest of it's just slow attacks, really. Uh, that's not what I want. Oh, that's not what I want. Looking for good units, not engineers. I mean, engineers are good, but in a different way they're good. Let's go after their naval base up here. Which I wish when you actually took their sea piers it meant something other than you know like I wanted to take away their uh, supply you know you can't trade with the outside world if you don't have a sea pier or an air you know airfield or something I wish that's what it meant but it doesn't come on down here and help him he's about to get destroyed all right doing good there you go run, run away Puma <laughs> You did good. You took one spot all by yourself. 
We'll build a bridge from there to there later on. Let's see. Not bad. Keep going, guys. What's going on down here? Uh, if you're not going to do anything, I'm at least just going to put you in repair. Now, it is good that they are going to stay down there. I don't mind it. Because in the eventuality that UK does attack, then at least we'll be ready. Okay. What is going on here? Uh, They pushed out just a little bit. What's going on over here? Nothing, nothing. Nothing going on this border right now. We do. <laughs> Valeris has like this one town. That is their capital. God, no. That's not good for them. It might be my my next. My next moves are probably going to go southeast to take Bulgaria out just to get rid of them. Maybe I could get Turkey at some point. And then I can push north into Russia that way as well. Which, really and truthfully, right, once I get past Ukraine and really start pushing these points, it's really not hard. They've got so many units. What are all those? Those are bridging units. They just have bridging units just moving around like ants. A lot of BMP 1s and 2s and stuff. A lot of things I'm not worried with, honestly. That road's built through there. Okay. I'm about to have to move these units to the fight am aren't I? Yeah. Come on, all of you. All of you, come up here. Well, we do have that road back. So now we can get to Paris really quickly. Uh, we take that right there, though, and we can get to the UK when they start attacking us very easily, too. Ah, oh, they have no garrisons in these towns. Speaking of garrisons, they are driven by manpower. How many men do I have just sitting around? I have 1.5 million active staff. And that's going up or down depending on where we are in the day and the month. Men are dying. That's not good. Come on. Ugh. I want you to attack that space. Let's get rid of some of them. This artillery is building up for no reason. Other than that we're allowing it to build up. Okay. Work your way around them. There we go. If we can hurry up and take it. We can catch all these guys out in the open, but I guess not. Okay, they fell back. Let's have all these guys start pushing up the road. Where's the nearest barracks? That's actually... There he is right there. And there's another one right here. I just want to make sure we have some... We can get back to the nearest barracks without having to go like all the way around. It won't go to the easiest barracks to get to. It'll go to the... One of the hardest ones I've found. Alright, these guys are quickly attacking. Yep, took Brussels. Well, at least we took their fabrication facility. Their, ta their capital is going to take a little bit longer. We're building... We're Wow, we drove right through there. Cutting them off pretty good. How is their treasury? They're at one billion. We've taken down so much of them. We need reinforcements. Okay, we look just fine. Yeah, he tried to counterattack. That didn't do him any good, did it? Now then, oh, they're having to rebuild there. Come here. Uh, you take him out. I'm gonna try to make a direct line here to that barracks for us. That can be troublesome, I'm sure. 
Belgium is putting people in the airfield at Luxembourg. That should be a perfectly good reason for me to go to war with Luxembourg. They are hiding out. They are they are hiding enemy units. So they are obviously not uh they are co belligerents. Right? That that's how the world works, right? At least that's the way it should. Okay, wow. We got men actually coming from the north now. We must the fighting must be getting pretty close to them. They don't really respond unless it's close enough to do that. Alright, well, I thought I'd get Belgium taken out in this episode, but at least we got Portugal done. Portugal was taken out. Ooh, there's a ton of men down there. We'll send them up. They must have all been repairing. Uh, come on for there. But, uh, yeah, so I guess I'm going to have to end up beating Belgium in the next episode. Uh, quite a bit going on, though. We've got a pretty good little... Oh, we've actually, we're pushing on Lithuania. But, yeah, so a lot going on. Uh... The more we attack, the more we get knocked out of here, the more we can focus in these other areas, which is what I'm going to kind of focus on doing now. But alright guys, I appreciate you guys for watching, and I will see you guys next time.